He doesn't have MS or an infection. His proteins aren't elevated. Wrong protein. IgM, not IgG. Elevation was probably caused by the bleed. What if there was tingling in his extremities prior to the crash? How can you still be on MS? You gotta be on something. Something's interrupting his neurons chit-chat like lesions. We can't scan for them. The only test we can do, we just did, and it was negative. He has no tingling, no numbness. And you read his history. Parents didn't say anything about what about Adam. We can't look into his brain, but you want us to read his mind. Good point. Yeah, you can finish the sponge bath in a minute. They're just redoing his dressings. He's out. He's fine. I didn't pay you to put him out. I paid you to wake him up. Why are these lights so damn bright? Thank you. Come on. I need to talk to him. House, you can't wake up a burn victim to play 20 questions. It's torture. You won't remember. He's going to be in extraordinary God, state. you're good. You're putting me to sleep. I know he's going to be in pain. I know you disapprove. I'm his attending. Wake him up. God. I'm Dr. House. It hurts. It's going to get a lot worse, so answer fast. Before the accident, did you experience any numbness or tingling in your fingers? You got burnt. It's healing. I need an answer. It really hurts. Any tingling in your arms or legs? Do something. I can't. Adam, you got to listen to me. Did you feel anything? I pissed my pants, and then I don't remember. I... Is he okay? Get everyone in my office. Where are you going? Kids screaming give me a headache. I gotta take an aspirin. Hey, can you find him? He was hallucinating in the locker room. He okay? He's feeling no pain. He's high. Vicodin? High? Past that. He's seeing sounds. Took something. Why is it so dark in here? Beautiful day outside. Open the shades, let the sunshine in. It's nighttime. It's still Tuesday, right? You look better. I took something. Mind if I ask what? A uh, little of this, a little of that. I know what's wrong with our patient. He's depressed. He told you that when you woke nope. him up? Told me he pissed his pants and blacked out. It's not diagnostic of depression. Lack of appetite, isolating yourself. Uncontrollable urination and blacking out are good predictors of what? Seizure. Which means the seizure he had when you tested his heart was at least his second seizure. So what? Depression and seizures aren't correlated. No. But you know what is? Depression and anti-depression medicine. Tuck scream is clean. Yeah, but you know how much crap he's got in his system for dealing with those burns. The guy could have the Spanish Armada floating through his bloodstream. We wouldn't know about it they started firing cannons. Antidepressants have been known to cause seizures in kids, but not orgasms. This is a brain in trouble. This is a brain with too much serotonin. Serotonin affects mood, appetite. It doesn't cause brain to shut down. Antidepressants fake brains into thinking they have more serotonin than they actually do. Every 10 million or so cases sets off a chain reaction, produces too much, enough to fry itself. If Adam has serotonin storm, it's deadly. But treatable. Cyper, I have to Unless he doesn't have serotonin storm. He could just as easily have too much dopamine as serotonin. But if it's dopamine, this hyperheptidine will kill him. Where are you going? I'm going to talk to the kid again. Seems nice. You can't. Why? Did he say he doesn't like me? The anesthesiologist told the parents what you did. Everyone's a tattletale. Is 
your son depressed? No, who are you? I'm Dr. House. Oh, you're the idiot who thought- I heard him screaming all the way down the hallway. If I didn't wake him up, I wouldn't learn what caused the crash. I think he had a seizure. This wasn't my fault? But if you hadn't had the brain problem, you wouldn't have the burns. On the other hand, if you hadn't put him on the ATV, you also wouldn't have the burns. You can debate your personal responsibility after I leave. I need to wake him up again. I need to know if he's taking antidepressants. He's not. <laughs> he's the happiest kid I know. But you don't know, do you? He's my son. Mm, that's sort of my point. At 16, they'll tell anyone anything except their parents. Adam talks to us about everything. Yeah, I know about the pot and the cocaine. There was never cocaine. What? You sure? Having him followed? He told us when he got drunk at a party. He told us when he started having sex. 16. Way to go. He told us when he cheated on a math test. He told us when his girlfriend cheated on him. He doesn't hide anything from us. But if he was depressed... He'd tell us. We don't judge. He's not depressed, we're sure. Bet his life on it, sure. Just hypothetically. Yeah. Kids happy. Happy, happy, happy. And we're back to where we started. Seizure disorders. Seizure disorders aren't causing orgasms. Vascular malformations? We've seen it on the sonogram. Hepatic encephalopathy? The liver enzyme test would normally. Where are you going? Take a leak. Doing? You can't come in here. You're not sterile. Don't touch our son, we told you. Seriously, millions of bacteria, microbes on you. He'll die of sepsis. If you go in there. I think he's gonna wake him up again. I know he is. House, you can't do this. Oh, if I had a nickel for every time I've heard that. Relax, are they gonna sue us? If I'm right, I save his life. If I'm wrong, dead no matter what I do. Either way, how much have I really hurt them? Leave him alone! You're not sterile. You want to kill the kid? Give me this orange. No pain, no gain. Hey, you got to stop this. You're right. He's not depressed. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'm not letting you go till you give me that syringe. What's that on his wrist? A burn. Why on his wrist? Why not on his wrist? His back, his torso, everything's a mess. Forearms are clean, except right there. So what? It's a perfect circle. So a drop of burning gasoline fell on his wrist, a screw from the ATV. <sighs> Maybe. Why are you torturing him? Does your son smoke? I'd kill him. So, he can talk to you about sex, crack, anything except cigarettes. He has a cigarette burn on his wrist. Also, a fading nicotine stain between two fingers. Bad news, your son has a filthy, unhealthy habit. Good news, he's trying to quit. Bad news, the quitting's killing him. Good news, I can cure him. Bad news. No, nope, that's the end of it. Quitting smoking can kill. No smoke meds or antidepressants. The crappy ones you get over the internet. They're loaded with whatever antidepressants they can get cheap. And since mommy and daddy obviously didn't take them to a pediatrician. Sorry, I was wrong about him being depressed. Treat him. 